Welcome back to D20 Tactics. On this channel, I play Dungeons & Dragons with my friends, and we explore combat scenarios and play out the tactics used to defeat monsters quickly and safely, giving you more time to get back to roleplay. I'm your host and Dungeon Master, Sarsen Zero, and today I'm joined by Blind Oracle, Azure Wolf, Longfish, and Train Rex. Together, we'll run through typical battles that adventurers might see playing Dungeons & Dragons. This is the fifth encounter on the Mountain of the White Dragon, so if you missed the start, you can find a link to it in the description below. Grab your dice, draw your sword, and let's jump into combat. Hit points, abilities, spells, items in hand, wizard. 112 hit points, wand of the war mage, plus two in my hand, along with my wand of magic missile. Two first level, one second level, two third, two fourth, one fifth. Rogue, plus one short bow in hand. We are using regular arrows for this encounter. We have the instrument of the bards on our back. Fighter. Fighter has plus two, great axe. Full hit points at 166. Cleric. Cleric is currently at 137 hit points. I have three first level, two third level, two fourth level, two fifth level, and one seventh level spell slot remaining. I'm currently holding Warhammer and my shield plus two. This encounter has four mammoths being ridden by four half ogres. I know I said it was the end of it, but this is the return of the Sarsen Zero cavalry formation. The half ogres are legitimate targets. The mammoths are legitimate targets. If you kill one, the other one will survive. Half ogres have battle axes and javelins. They have a passive perception of nine, so I don't think the rogue can fail to hide from them. Mammoths have trampling charge. If they move 20 feet straight towards the target and hit with a gore attack on the same turn, the target must make a DC 18 strength save versus prone. If the target is prone, the mammoth can make a stomp attack as a bonus action. Uh, the stomp has a 10 foot reach. The gore has a 10 foot reach terrain. There's a couple of pieces of difficult terrain, some bushes to move through. The orange is climbable sections, so you can climb up that. Plenty of handholds, no check required. Tactics. What do you guys think for tactics in this fight? Take out the big beasts and worry about the mounts later. Depending on if the wizard still has like spell slots for fly, I think we just <laughs> go into the air. Just put the party in the air. That could work. If I use a fifth, I can get three people up in the air. Can the rogue still get the fighter to fly? No. Oh. I get that trick once per day. Yeah, and I don't think I picked up a fly scroll either. Well, if that's the case, at least put you and the rogue up in the air? Me and the rogue? I could do me and the rogue. Do we need to do flying for this? I could juke them out and get them all grouped up and you guys could do AoEs on them. Well, if it's the Saracen Zero cavalry thing. Yeah, we're going to be button hooked probably, or either they're just going to trample. He's going to run in, knock you over, trample you, and then run away. <laughs> got it. <laughs> yeah, prepare to be swarmed. All right, that sounds like we got an account then. Let's go ahead and roll initiative. Anybody have higher than a 20? 24 for the rogue. 22 on the wizard. Who's got between a 15 and a 20? 17 minus 1 on the clerk and 17 on the snake. 15 on the fighter. Ow. 14. I have an 8. Rogue, you're up first. I think the option is to go behind the bush that you just had your cursor under. Bonus action, hide, and then shoot the closest mammoth. Does a 21 hit a mammoth? 21 hits a mammoth, yeah. I know, surprising, but here we are. 36 points of damage. All set. That's my turn, yeah. After that, we're going to go to the wizard. Move right behind that road. Let's do the fly thing for me and him. And then I'm going to raise the remainder to go up. 30 feet left. You're going to go 30 feet up? Yep. Longfish. Move me south of the rogue. Put me prone. Before I go prone, I'm going to shoot a level one guiding bolt at the mammoth that rogue shot at. 23 to hit for 12 damage. And now I go prone. Snake. I'll tell the snake to move to the south of me and get ready to attack anybody who gets within his reach. Train, what do you do? I'm going to move forward around the corner from one of the mammoths. Yeah, right there. The owl? Let's move him over here with me and the rogue and where he's just gonna call dodge and fly up. After the owl is the riders. We're gonna do what we expected to do, which is trample the fighter. I have to move 20 feet straight towards a creature, so we're gonna go there. The mammoth is gonna make a gore attack. 17 to hit you. Does not hit. Then we're gonna go with the half ogre battle axe attack. 18 to hit you. Does not hit. The rest of them are going to advance. Dash. The ogre on the top is going to throw a javelin at the fighter. 21 to hit you, fighter. Does hit. Take 12 points of piercing damage. This guy's going to move through there. Most recent arrival is going to throw a javelin at the fighter. 19 to hit you. Does not hit. This one's going to move to there. That one will ready a javelin in case there is an enemy within 30 feet of it. That's all my guys. Top of the order. Blind Oracle. So I fly now. Let's go ahead and go up 60 feet. And then go ahead and take a shot down at the mammoth. Does a 20 hit? 20 hits a mammoth. Did you try to crit fish? What's the advantage? Sure. No crit. 
for 31 points of damage. Bonus action I didn't dash to go even higher? <laughs> So it's 120 feet in the air, yeah. After the blind oracle, we go to the Azure Wolf. Oh, to have a lightning bolt. That next best thing, fireball. Let's fly up 30 more feet and then fireball at level 4. That's 18. 35. The Ogre Rider is going to fail. That is lethal. And that guy drops, leaving just a mammoth behind. The mammoth is going to fail. The mammoth will take 35. Number 2. The Ogre is going to fail and drop. The mammoth is going to take 35. The middle Ogre Rider is going to fail and die. And this guy's going to take Anything else? Move the rest of the 30 up. After the wizard, we're going to go to the longfish. I'm going to stand back up. Sacred flame, the first mammoth. Dex 18. Fails. For 12 damage. 12 is exactly its hit points. It drops. Nice. And then I'll back up two squares. The snake will follow me and just back up, ready to hit whatever gets into its reach. After that, we're going to go to the train. Train is going to move forward and attack that mammoth. 15. 15 hits. 16. Next attack is 22. Hits. 18. Last attack, 19. Hits. Damage is 12 points. And uh, that's it. Cool. After that, we're going to go to the owl. Let's have him fly. You can go 10 to there. And aggravate for the fighter. And whatever he's got left in high. After the owl is the riders. So we're going to provoke an opportunity attack from the fighter as we back up. You have advantage on this. 22 to hit. 17 points. And then we're going to charge forward again. Gore attack at 20 to hit you. A meets. Take 25 points of piercing damage. DC 18 strength save. Oh, 16. Fails. That'll knock you prone. When you get knocked prone as a bonus action, the mammoth can do a stomp attack. So it has advantage because you're prone now. It's going to get a 13 to hit you. 13 does not hit. So then the next one's going to go... Can't get to you. Okay. Excellent positioning. This guy's going to go around to here. I'm going to try to bite you. 14 to hit. 14 hits. 11 damage. This guy's going to go around to here. The rider on top of the mammoth is going to attack the prone fighter. I'm going to get a 23 to hit your fighter. Hits. Take 13 points of slashing damage because I can use two hands on this. And that's all of my guys. After that, we go to the top of the order, which is the blind oracle. So we're going to drop down 60 feet and we're going to shoot the mammoth. 18 to hit the mammoth. 18 hits. For 39 points of damage to the mammoth. Bonus action to pick up the extra 60 feet. So dash back up. Whee! I have to go up and down. After that, we go to the Asia Wolf. The where they're clumped up. Use the last scroll of Fireball. DC 18 dex, please. That's 31 with the modifier. We're going to fail all three of them. That is lethal for the rider. This one takes 31. This one takes 31 and drops. Cool. Anything else? No, I'm good. After that, we're going to go to the Longfish. Sacred Flame against the Mammoth that's closest to me. Fails. Nice. For 13 damage, order the snake to restrain it. That's it. Do the snake. Attempt to restrain. 16 to hit. 16 hits. 12 damage, and it is restrained. After that, we're going to go to train. Action or a move action to get up? It's half of your movement to stand up. Okay, then I'm going to stand up and hit the mammoth next to me. 14. 14 hits. That is 10 damage. All right, next hit is 27. Hits. 19 damage. And last one is 16 plus numbers. 16 plus numbers hits. 17 damage. That loo. After that, we're going to go to the turn. Oh, it's my turn. This mammoth cannot survive leaving this area, so it's just going to attack with the gore. 21 to hit you. Hits. Take 21 points of piercing damage. And then over here, we're going to try to gore the snake. 19 to hit the snake. That will hit. Snake takes 28 points of piercing damage. All right, and then that's both my mammoths, top of the order, blind oracle. Let's go ahead and shoot the mammoth in the back. So again, move down 60, take the shot. Well, there's the crit. Now at least will you admit you're at 40k levels of dice. <laughs> no, because my Havocs still shoot for more dice. You have to beat my Havocs before this matters. <laughs> oh, how many dice is rolling? It's a lot. D6 for the bow, 7 D6 for the sneak, and then doubled for the crit. So. 70 points of damage. 7-0. I think that's the new record. That mammoth drops. 60 feet back up. Yep. After that, we go to the Asia Wolf. Our bolt. Not natural 20. Okay. 17 with the mod. After that, we go to the Longfish. 
All right, Sacred Flame. Dex 18 save. I got a three. 15 damage. And action, the snake is just going to keep constraining it. It's got advantage. 24 to hit. Hits. 14 damage. After the snake is the train. Train's going to move with that mammoth. Advantage because it's restrained. That's 24. Hits. 10 damage. Mammoth died. Two. We did it. Report hit points. 139 out of 139. 112 out of 112. 137 out of 137. 95 out of 166. Any end of encounter actions? Either take a potion or use second wind. You can do both. Yeah. You're going to turn your snake off and turn it back on again? Yeah. If the fighter is still short for hit points, I can give her two potions of greater healing. I have a total of six. I recover 16 points with second wind and 14 with the potion. Anybody else do anything? Keep concentrating on fly because it's 10 minutes. The adventurers are making the final pass up to the white dragon's lair. I think that's a good thing they got fly because they're going to need it in this next fight. Five encounters down, one more to go before the long rest. Thank you for stopping by, and I hope you'll join us next week as the adventure continues. I'm Saracen Zero, and I will see you next time.